Okay, what we're going to show you today is how to install this set of these RJ cheese wedges. They're really nice. You have a couple different styles. This is called the thrush style with the bigger holes. The hole shot style has like an iron cross looking thing with holes in it. Really cool, really easy to install. Um, makes a big difference on your bike. And these are made by Rusty Jones. So I want to just show you. Um, we're just going to show you this side. The other side is exactly the same way. First thing you have to do is pull your cheese wedge off. That, I think most of you guys know how to do that. Just kind of pull that off. Now the one thing you can notice, there's these clips on the back here. These little spring loaded clips. Sometimes they stick in here. Okay, and to get them out, it's real easy. And you have to take them out to do this. All you need to do is just kind of hold it in the back and kind of squeeze and just get one out and then this side just kind of pry it out. So what you want to do is you want to squeeze these together to get them out. And then when you put them back on, all you do is you just push them on and they'll stay on. So you have to make sure these come out. Oop, that one shot over there. Okay, so that's the first step. Get this bracket all cleaned up so that you can do it. The next thing they give you is something called a J clip or a fender clip. And I'll show you how to do this. It's, it's real simple. You just push them on. But the problem is when you get it on, if you have to get it back off. And it's a little bit hard to see, but down in here, you'll see kind of a little ring. Once you get these and you look at them, you'll see there's a little ring in there. That little ring, once you put it on, that's what locks it on. So you have to take that little ring and pry that. It's kind of hard to do here, but you pry this little ring up and you, you bring it out and then this will sl slip right off. So that's how if you put them on and you can't get them off, that little ring, just pry it. It's got a little indent in there where you can catch it with a little screwdriver and pry it out. So you just put these on, they just push right on. Make sure you line the, the hole, the bolt hole up in the hole for the, for the uh, bracket there. These come apart. Just take it apart. You get bolts with the kit. Now I recommend a little bit of blue Loctite on these just so you don't lose them. Um, they make it in a paste form like we use here. It's a little bit tight because of the powder coating here, but they'll slip right through. Get all the bolts started. If yours are tight, you may have to clean a little of that powder coating out of there. Okay, say so they normally kind of just drop down through there. Okay, so you're just going to bolt that right up. Get one started move around and you may have to move those J clips around in the back. They may not be in the right spot. And then just go around and kind of tighten these up even. You can use a socket, you know, or a wrench. Make sure you snug them up. OK, 
Okay, now that's got that part on there. So the next thing you do is they give you these little tiny screws. Okay, you're going to put your screen in there and make sure you obviously you do the ones with the hole. And the one thing, this is a little bit harder to get those on there, so I kind of do it all together and then just kind of screw that in and get it started. And again, if there's powder coat in your hole, it's going to be a little bit harder to get started, so you have to check that first. And then just once you get them all started, then you can just tighten them up. You can use a little dab of uh, the Loctite on these if you want. Once you get them all snug, you know, go back around and make sure you tighten them all up. That one's not quite in. That one didn't quite get in there all the way, so I have to loosen them back up. I thought it was, so that's a good way when I say don't tighten all the bolts up until you're done. Make sure you get it in there. Just keep kind of going around and making sure they're tight. That's all there is to it. Make sure your key goes in there and everything lines up. There you go. That's all there is to install an RJ Cheese Wedge. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Thanks for watching.